Hello, everybody. This is Mrs. Leary, and I am going to um, present this Google Slides on um, how to answer your writing prompt for this week about the memory string. And you are writing from a different character's perspective. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next slide. You're writing from a different character's perspective. So you read or listened to a passage from the story, The Memory String. Make sure you read it or listen to it more than once so that you have a good understanding of what is happening in the story. Your task is to write the story from the stepmother Jane's perspective. The passage that you have read or listened to is from the little girl Laura's perspective. So you're going to write it from Jane's perspective. So you're going to rewrite the same exact events at the same time, but you're just doing it from a different character's point of view. So I'm going to take you through the process step by step. I'm going to put my ideas in as an example only. You should not use my ideas, but come up with your own. Now, here are the steps. First, you're going to read the prompt. The prompt is, based on the memory string, write a narrative that retells the events of the story from the stepmother Jane's perspective. Use what you learned about the characters and the story events to write your narrative. And remember, perspective just means point of view. Next, pull apart the prompt and make a do what. And our prompt again is based on the memory string, write a narrative that retells the events of the story from the stepmother Jane's perspective. Use what you learned about the characters and the story events to write your narrative. So your do is to retell, your what is the events of the story from the stepmother's perspective or point of view. There's also another do what in there that I will let you figure out. Um, then remember this graphic organizer, your www what to how to. You will answer these questions to help you organize your ideas and write your story. So you can use an organizer like this. You can make one on a piece of paper or you can simply answer the questions, which I'm gonna take you through next. Okay, so here are the questions. These are all the questions that are in that organizer from the previous slide. So like I said, you could do it either way. You can make an organizer or you can just answer the questions. You're gonna answer these questions to get ideas and organize your thoughts about your story. You may have to reread or listen to it again. So question one, who are the characters? Two, where does the story take place? Three, when does the story take place? Four, what does the main character want to do? Five, what happens when he tries to do it? Six, how does the story end? Seven, how does the main character feel at the end? Answering these questions is going to help you get ideas when you're writing your story. So first question, who are the characters? The characters are Laura, Jane, the stepmother, and dad. I am not adding more characters into my narrative because I am just retelling the same story, but from Jane's perspective. I'm not changing or adding events to the story like we did with the runt writing last week. Last week, we, we um, continued the story. In this week, we're not continuing the story. We're telling the same exact series of events, but just from Jane's point of view rather than Laura's. What is the setting? The setting is the house where Laura, Jane, and Dad live. I'm not changing the setting because I'm only changing the point of view, not any of the action. When does the story take place? The story takes place in the afternoon, evening, and the next morning. I am not changing when it takes place because I am only changing the point of view and the perspective, nothing else. What does Jane want? 
She wants Laura to like her and accept her, even though Jane is not her mother. Now remember, this is Mrs. Leary's idea. You may have a different idea of what Jane wants, and that's okay. I'm just putting my idea in as an example to help you, but you could have a completely different idea about what Jane wants, and that is okay. It's your story, it's your narrative, and there's no right or wrong answers. What happens when she tries to do it? Sorry, skip the slide there. What happens when she tries to do it? Now remember, this is Mrs. Leary's idea again. Jane tries to get Laura to accept her by helping Laura look for the drop buttons, offering to help Laura restring the buttons, and explaining to dad that it wouldn't be right or fair to take a substitute button from his uniform and pass it off as the one that was lost. Now remember, these are Mrs. Leary's ideas. You may have different ideas about what Jane wants and what happens, and that's okay because it's your story. You're just taking the events of the story. You're not changing the events, but you're just changing how the characters view the events, okay? How does it end? I just put some sentence frames here. I didn't put in exactly how it ends because I want you to come up with your own ideas. So I just put blank happens. Jane feels blank about the situation because blank. So it's up to you to figure out how the story ends. And then how does Jane feel? And again, I just put some sent I put some sentence frames in here. Jane feels blank because blank. Now it's time to write your story. Now that you've answered all of the questions and developed ideas about my story, it's time to write. I'm going to use the answers to the questions and what I learned about Jane and Laura from the passage to write my story. Remember, the story is written from Jane's perspective, so your task is to write the same events from the stepmother Jane's perspective. And you're going to use the answers to the questions that we just went through in order to do that. After you have completed your writing, don't forget to revise and edit. Remember, revising, when you revise, you reread your story and make sure it is exactly how you want it. Read it to a family member to hear how it sounds. If you want to change something, do it. There are no right or wrong answers here. You want to make sure your story is exactly the way that you want it. Make sure you edit your story as well. Make sure you have capital letters where needed, punctuation where needed, proper spelling and proper grammar, that the writing makes sense. So you may have to read it through a couple of times to make sure all of those pieces are in place. Now you're done. Now you're ready to share your story with your teacher. If you'd like to read Mrs. Leary's story, I will share it with you after you have handed in yours to your teacher. Just let me know you have turned yours in and I will send my story to you. See, writing is much easier when you break it down into steps. I hope this was helpful and happy writing.